So people are always asking me what they can do at home. What can I practice at home? Um, what are some simple drills that I can just rep out to get good at? And that's really how you're going to get good at stuff. You're going to isolate it. So today I'm going to show you what I call switching Kwanzaa's. I like to call it the table turner or the rollout of things. So I'll show you how to use it in application, but I'm also going to show you this drill that you can just do on your own. Kwan Sao is made up of a Bong Sao and a Tan Sao. The Tan goes on the non-weighted foot. Because it's a Tan here in practice as we roll, that doesn't mean that that Tan's not necessarily also a strike, also a Chang Sao or a, or a punch, right? Just be careful of hunching over. That's a common mistake anytime people are trying to do the bong sao. They hunch over into the energy. But again, you're surrounding them. You're rolling out, you're flanking them. So you've got to really think of their energy right here on the central plane. And upon that, you then change and take them off of that central plane. Right? You, don't, you don't want to stay on that and then lean into their pressure. From this position, we then can roll out to the other side as needed. Roll out to the other side. Roll out, roll out. Bringing this back through Wu, this extends down, boom, boom. Down around, circle back, circle forward. See it from the side. See the circle. In this solo drill, you're practicing this side to side. You're just rolling, right? You're rolling out. You're getting your body to remember how to do this. The stance is a pivot. What happens is you get tied up. And when you get tied up in a position, that's when we're going to use the Quan Sao. You're gonna roll to the outside of where they're holding you. And then I feel a reason to Quan Sao. Now you see how I've split the energy. Previously I was here, and now I've gone and flanked him with my elbow and gotten off the line that I was on and moved this way a little bit off that line and now I have boom and boom. So I've got both, boom, boom. <laughs> is, it also, is it also to get more space for yourself? It is a space-keeping thing. It's a constantly fight from behind your elbow deal. But it's because you're here, right? And then you roll to those next positions, right? You roll to it. It's kind of like you're a little it. stuck. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're in a compromised position and this is the table turner or right so you want to be able to roll out of that and then from there you can do a number of different things if you want to you can hit you can come around pull right um a lot of different things just depending on what you feel maybe he goes the other way oh well and maybe i roll to the other side you can take your tonsil on this side of his arm or you can take it on this side of his arm it doesn't really matter but you have it ready. Ha have the one ready to hit here. This one's ready to hit right here. Now, is this one ready to hit too? Ooh. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for people to follow both high and low at the same time. So you work at both. My seat was really good at that. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> So um, these are the Kwan Sao's. You can hit out of this because it's empty. 
right? Just like we were talking about. Now at home, we want to work the structure as well. It's not enough to just do things in the air. We need to feel pressure. Feeling pressure is then gives us the right idea. One point of pressure, you can use your other hand and isolate one side from the other. Press straight into this. From here, again, make sure your humerus bone is pointing to the, to the target. You don't want it to be due too down here because if someone presses it, it'll collapse into your body. You also don't want your humerus bone pointing out there when the opponent is here. So make sure that pos positionally you have your humerus bone pointing, or your elbow, that's the end of the humerus bone, right? Point that. Press it in to your spine and feel, okay, can I hold that pressure of my own hand? You can also do this against a wall and just scoot into the wall, if the wall's right here, and press. Just make sure that you can, you can hold your own pressing energy. Don't lean into it, that'll mess everything up. Just keep yourself upright. Now, how do you practice the other one? You can also do that against the wall. Press your hand right here and push that into the wall. Uh, the best way to do that is to extend your arm and scoot as much as possible to get in there and feel. Okay, does it feel solid? Now you can also go to your wall bag and just boom, boom, boom. So thank you, you've made it all the way to the end of this video, so go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll be sure to bring you more of these videos straight here, right on YouTube. Introducing my Wing Chun Distance Learning Program at WingChunLessons.com. Designed to help those with a sincere interest to learn Wing Chun at home. Not everyone has access to a Wing Chun school or local instructor where they live. This Wing Chun Home Training Program also gives you a chance to become certified and recognized under the Dragon Institute ranking system which is a necessary first step for those who wish to become certified Wing Chun instructors. Read more at wingchunlessons.com.